in order to understand why they had to change the manner in which they transmitted the analog signal, you have to understand how they transmit an analog signal. The ionosphere is the uppermost part of the atmosphere, distinguished because it is ionized by solar radiation. It plays an important part in atmospheric electricity and forms the inner edge of the magnetosphere. It has a practical importance because, among other functions, it influences radio propagation to distant places on the Earth. It is located in the thermosphere. Okay, now basically what they said is that the air that we breathe is located here. It goes from the surface all the way up 85 kilometers. The air that's 85 kilometers above the surface of the Earth is out in space and is touching some of the ionized radiation, some of the electricity that's coming off of the sun. So that means that the outer part of the air that we breathe is electrified. Now what that means is through radio propagation, and radio propagation is a term used to explain how radio waves behave when they are transmitted or are propagated from one point on the earth to the other. Analog is just another word for radio propagation. Radio waves are sent through the air. So that means the analog signals are sent through the air. It says radio propagation in the Earth's atmosphere is affected by daily changes of ionization in the upper atmosphere layers due to the sun. So basically what they're saying is occasionally the sun will burst forth a flare. And since the Earth is only tuned to deflect a certain amount of electricity, whenever the sun produces excess electricity, that excess electricity gets in. And what happens is when this layer comes into contact with that excessive electricity, then this layer becomes hyper-electrified. So whenever they try to transmit a signal using the ionosphere, all you get is static electricity. And the reason why is because normally an uh, analog signal is transmitted from tower to TV. That's why like on the mountains you have giant television towers and radio towers because they're sending that signal out to the group of people who are in, in range of that. Now, say for example, you have ABC, NBC, CBS, and they have stations here. And they want to transmit all the way around the world. They don't just want to transmit to a small group of people. So what they do is they build a giant tower, and instead of sending the, the signal from the tower to the TV, they send the signal into the ionosphere. And since the ionosphere is electric and signals travel in, in an electric environment, then the signal actually goes all the way around the Earth. So if you're on this side of the planet and you want to watch ABC, NBC, CBS, then all you need is an antenna and you can receive the signal straight out of the atmosphere.